Today I'm doing another solo video for you guys. And this... I just forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Hey guys, it's Lindy and welcome back to Tried and Tested. Today's topic touches down to the very, very roots of my cuticles. That's right, cuticles. Okay, everybody who's watching, raise your hand if you have ever had dry, brittle, flaky, damaged nails. Me, I have for like the longest time ever. Like, you see my nails now? They're super long, super strong, and I'm gonna show you how I got them that way. Okay, so some of you may know, some of you may not know. You can't really tell from the state of my nails now. But I used to bite my nails until they were like down to the nub and it was painful and it was damaged and they rip. It was it was so awful. It was just a nervous habit I had and I couldn't shake it. I tried the rubber band pop thing. I tried the nasty tasting top coat, which is disgusting. But I just chip it off and keep going. Like it could not be stopped. And it got to the point to where I was growing up in high school and I had to learn to be more professional for, not presentations, but to get ready for the life beyond high school. And I realized that my nails really needed some love. Very, 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 very much needed some love. And so I stopped biting them cold turkey. It was terrible. And now I have all sorts of other nervous habits like picking at my nail polish and playing with my hair, but I don't bite them anymore, which is, thank you so much. The problem was that all of the years I had been biting my nails totally ruined them, guys. Like, it got to the point where if I even had them a little long, I couldn't open up a can of Coke without ripping a nail. I couldn't run my fingers through my hair a lot without ripping the side of my nail. It was terrible. Zippers, nightmare. Doors, I had to watch where my hands were so I wouldn't break my nail, rip my nail, which was so painful like just my nails were ruined and i needed to find a way to fix them well i found that way i want to show you guys the products that i used that made my nails from paper thin peeling chipping breaking tearing messes to hard and long and strong beauties that actually take a lot of force to break trust me on that one okay first of all the first thing that I got to repair all the dryness, the damage that I inflicted on my nail bed is this right here. It looks like I haven't used it, but I have actually used it in tandem with the second product right here. For every single coat that I used to, that I did of this, I used this beforehand. So this goes a long, long, long way. This is the Avoplex by Obi. The Avoplex Nail and Cuticle Replenishing Oil. It has an applicator like regular nail polish, but inside is a watery golden colored oil. I was very skeptical at first. I got these two in a side-by-side -side pack, which is the only reason why I wound up with that oil, but that oil has changed my cuticle life. So what you do, you take off all of your nail polish and you literally just slather that stuff onto the nail bed, the cuticle on your nail, under your nail, that's what I do. I mean, I just massage it in. I'll just pop on a YouTube video, just sit there and massage it in, and I'm watching the video. And I let it sit for a good 10 minutes, probably. And then I get up and I wash my hands with regular soap and water, and they look healthier. They don't look, you know how when your nails get kind of dry and they get kind of scratched, how they have that white, white on them, like white scratches almost? like just wear and tear on your nails, that's gone after you use this. And it is the best thing ever. So this stuff will actually replenish and heal your nails over time. It took my nails a good mm, three weeks before they were actually growing as they should be. This is where the second product comes in. This is again by Obi, and this is their original Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. And it looks kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of like boogers. But this stuff is magic in a bottle. You put it on, what it does is it puts a protective shield on your nails. It protects them from the sun, from damage, and it also, when it dries, I don't know if you can tell, but my nails 
are in a they're curved in a U. That's the shape that nails have to be in order for them to be strong and durable so they don't break. My nails before I would use this stuff would be flat. Flat as all get out. And they'd catch on everything you can imagine. Wool on sweaters, zippers like I said before, nightmares. You put one to two coats on. I put two for the extra bonus and you let it dry completely. I always put this on 30 minutes before I paint my nails because you want your nail to dry in the U shape, in the U shape before you put your polish on because if you put your polish on before your nail is in the U shape, it'll actually crack the polish down the middle as your nail is actually bending into place. I know that sounds really weird, but that happened to me the first few times that I used it. So I learned, put this stuff on 30 minutes before you put your nail polish on and then you can put whatever nail polish you want on. And it also works as a base coat, which is wonderful because I hate having colors stain onto my nails when I'm done. It just, it's gross. It creeps me out. I just don't do it. But these two products have changed my nail life. Like, I used to be, like, I used to be ashamed of my nails. I'm not going to lie. And now I am the proudest person of these nails. And I actually have people asking me, hey, where do you get your nails done? And me thinking, but, oh, my polish. I'm like, oh, I do it myself. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Where do you get the length put on? You know, the fake nail. And I'm like, oh, these aren't fake. They're real. And most of the time, they don't believe me. Some of the times, if they're at my house, I have to take my nail polish off and be like, shut up. They're real nails. Like, they are this long. It can be done. And so they're super strong now. Now I can open a Coke can whenever I want. I don't have to worry about my finger getting caught on a zipper. Like, it's amazing. So I went from weak, dry, brittle, terrible nails that I was so ashamed of that I would never get my nails done. Like, manicures, I wouldn't do it because the nail ladies would always be like, oh, your nails aren't in very good shape. I'm like, I know, I know. And I don't really feel like getting a lecture from a stranger. So I just didn't go. But now that I've saved my nails, I walk into a nail salon and people are like, oh, your nails. How'd you do that? And I tell them everything that I just told you. But now you actually have a visual. So I don't have the original box that both of these came in. But this is the box that the OP Nail Envy comes in. This is a brand new bottle. As you can tell, I'm about halfway done with this one and I use it every single time I do my nails. Even if I'm just taking nail polish off and I'm not going to put any other color on them, I put this on and I wear it around like a top coat because it dries in a shiny finish, which is pretty nice since it's not supposed to be a top coat. But I cannot live without this stuff. Like, I was talking to my husband about it and I was like, I need this stuff. I'm almost out. And guess what he did? He went to the store and he bought me another bottle so I don't have to run out and freak out and be afraid that I'm going to damage my nails because I've been there, done that. It's not fun. But so if you do this regimen for a while, at first you're, you might think, oh, it's not really working. My nails still kind of rip up at the sides. It takes time. You have to wait for your entire nail to grow completely out using this process so it's healthy and as strong as it can be. Because even if it's growing out halfway, the outer half is still the weak nail and it has a tendency to break. But if you put the oil on it, it'll help give it more strength and more nutrients so that it's not as likely to break but it still can happen you just have to put faith into this process and give it time to work because if you don't and you're like me and you're very very impatient then your nails will not heal and I actually I don't have the prices for them with me I'll put the prices right below here so you can see it for first for the oil so it's right here and then for the OP nail in the original they have several they have several different kinds I like the original they have an extra strength and I think they now have a super strength I haven't used them because they're different formulas and I trust the original so but yeah if you guys have weak brittle nails or you just want to give your nails some love I Strongly, strongly, strongly recommend these two. I've been doing this for years. Years. I am out of my undergrad college career. And I do this every single time I paint my nails. Once your nails are strong, they're strong. And they're going to stay strong 
I just, I always put this on because it protects against the sun and it also protects against scratches. So if you're like me and you have cats and they like to claw everything in sight when you try to pet them when they're very mad at you and they get your nail, this will protect it against scratching and like daily wear and tailor. So putting your hands in your pockets, digging around in your purse, your nails, your nail nails won't be damaged. This will actually take the brunt of it. And here's another interesting fact for you guys for the oil. If you follow our Instagram, you'll know that I got shellac nails for the first time two weeks ago. And I was so happy about them because they dried like super fast. Like, put them on the light and ink, they're done. I'm going to wet, rub, whatever. It freaked me out because I had, she did the top coat and I put it in and she took them out. She took like a legitimate towel and just eh, 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 started rubbing them. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, they're dried. I'm like, what? So I was actually very amazed. However, I was so impressed that I wasn't listening to what she said. And so as the week went on, right at, right at a week later, I got a little little bitty chip right here. These aren't the nails. I did these myself. Anyway, back to my story. I got a little bitty chip. One of my worst nervous habits is picking up my nail polish without realizing it. Well, shellac polish doesn't chip. It peels off. And I'm sitting there peeling and peeling and peeling. Before I know it, I peel the entire thing off my nail. And I look, and the top layer of my nail is bubbled and damaged. And I about had a heart attack. Like, my heart stopped. I was like, what have I done to my nail? So I was like, okay, okay, don't do that anymore. Don't, don't do that. Just do not do that. That same day, I went to actually have my name changed because I got married back in January. And I'm just now getting around to that. And I was just so stressed out having to run back and forth and have the right documentation that without me consciously knowing, I peeled every single one of them off of my fingers. So at the end of the day, my nails were completely shot. Just bubbles, itty bitty little cracks. Lacey actually yelled at me because you're not supposed to peel it off. You're supposed to either let the nail people remove it for you or soak your nails in a nail polish remover or acetone and then get it off. I don't, I don't know how, because I didn't do it right the first time, apparently, obviously. Anyway, my nails were like terrible and I just wanted to cry so badly. I was like, well, first thing I need to do is protect them. I need to protect my nails now because I was really dumb and I peeled the first layer of my nail off. So I reached for this first and I thought, well, I might as well do the regimen like it's supposed to be done. So I grabbed this guy and I put it on my nails and I let it soak for a good 30 minutes before I washed it off. And when I was done, it still had the bubbles, but they looked so much healthier than they were. And I about cried with joy because it saved, the, it, it stopped damage in its tracks. And then I immediately put on two coats of this, let it dry. And that's all she wrote. That's all I wore like all of last week. And then after the week had passed, I looked at my nails and the damage, the damage was not gone. You can still see the little bubbles, but it's not weak anymore. So I had the courage to paint my nails again. So I did. And I don't know if you can hear that, but my cats are like clawing up on the other side of the door. Like, let me in, let me in. What? You're not going to come in because the last time you came in, you hopped up right in front of the camera and turned it. But Anyway, I really hope this helps you guys because without this regimen, my nails would still be paper thin and super breakable and nobody wants breakable nails. No one deserves breakable nails. And this will help your nails if you do shellac every day or every week, I guess. It lasts about a week, right? Yeah. So if you do shellac every week or if you have fake nails and you just want to stop but you know your nails are damaged and you don't know if you can, try this because this rescued my nails from torment. Torment. And I cannot live without these two. I cannot. And if I ever get halfway, I immediately buy another bottle. This is my go-to save your nails. And it works. From me to you, I have been doing this legitimately for years. And my nails have never been stronger. So I really hope you take me up on it. Again, I'm putting the prices down below. So here's the oil price and here's the nail envy price. I know they are a bit pricey 
it's a pretty pretty chunk of change but it is so totally worth it just 100 percent worth it if i could give it like zero out of five stars it's getting 10 stars from me because as i said i cannot live without these products or at least my nails can't so i highly recommend it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that what I said today about dry nails and how you can help fix them really helped you or will help you for the future and just I really hope it does because it worked for me and I want it to work for you guys because everybody deserves beautiful nails everybody does and I feel like this is a surefire way to help your nails so if you have dry nails and you've tried other products that seem to work for you that is fantastic comment them down below below because I'll totally go out and try them. Nails are one of my passions because I don't know. I just love them. So leave a comment if you've had dry nails and you found a product. Leave a comment if you just have dry nails and you want to join the discussion. And don't forget to subscribe because we love everyone who subscribes. We love everyone who doesn't subscribe. It's not like subscribe or we don't like you. No, we love everybody. It's just, it's easier for you to watch all the videos if you subscribe because they'll pop up on the side of your screen every time you get on a YouTube. So if you don't have a YouTube and you're just watching this off of Facebook or whatever, we love YouTube. We really do. You can comment down below on the YouTube link and Facebook. Like we love everybody. So, speaking of Facebook, you can follow us at facebook.com forward slash tried and tested by two, the number two. You can follow us on Instagram at tried and tested two, the number two. And you can follow us on Twitter at tried and tested underscore. So, I really hope you guys follow us and stuff because, I mean, we really do like talking to everybody. It's really cool. Just make our own community and be like, oh, hey, try this. And, Another person, oh, I tried that. That's such a good idea. Like, we love it. We love it so much, guys. I really hope this has helped you because I cannot live without these products. And if they have changed my nails so drastically, I know that they can help you. So, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.